Ministries. First I'm tired and then I'm sick and then my mouth is sore and then my throat. What next? I've taken the day off tomorrow so I'll be with you the whole time. I'm not going tomorrow. What do you mean? No more. I'll enjoy the time I have left and take what's coming. Head on. Morgan's Felix. Well, you only told her the truth. I mean, how she went rushing in without even thinking about it, without even discussing it. We didn't even get the chance to talk her out of it. Yeah, and now it's too late. Cindy and Trent Jr. could be setting up a home for themselves in her womb as we speak. Or not. I mean, what's the chance that the IVF actually works? I don't know. It's a long shot. So I've got my fingers crossed that it doesn't even happen. We can all get on with our lives and forget about the whole stupid thing. That would be good. In the meantime, I need apologise for pouring scorn on her and tell her that I am here for her. And you need to do the same, Hunter. Why do I? Because you're her boyfriend. That's what boyfriends do. On what planet? What she's done is not normal. Okay, I'm not just going to sit back. I don't know what I'm going to do. Weird. Anya, hi. It's just a stage, right? That cancer people go through? For God's sake, you two are the nurses. You should have some mm. idea. Don't stop on my account. Mum. No, Maya. We have been through it and through it. I am not having any more treatment. What about the big speech you gave to Alice about fighting for your life, how she should fight too? Oh, don't you throw that at me. It was before I had my second chemo. I know the chemo is rough. Really rough, but it has to be. To get rid of the cancer. And it is not forever, Mum. How do you know that? Some people have chemo again and again and still the cancer wins. But what if you're not one of those people? You have to at least try. I have never felt so ill in my life. I'm lying on the bathroom floor, just lying there, waiting for the... That's me for the rest of my life. Plenty of people go through it, Mum. It's Mum's decision. Thank you, Libby. Libby? She doesn't need you to harassing her. You're the one who said it. We are the nurses. So maybe you should just keep your opinions to yourself. She's my mum too. And I know I'm not the only one who hates seeing her and miserable. What about Jay, mum? What you do for Jay, please? The state that I'm in with the chemo. I can't even hold the boy. I can't enjoy any of my time with him. I can't enjoy anything. Please. Just respect my decision and let the next few months be happy times. Might help you sleep tonight. Now, there's a solution. I'll develop a raging alcohol problem, shall I? Sorry. It's okay. No, it's not. I'm so scratchy all the time. You should be relaxing. Trace Leah is not going to press charges. Thanks to some friendly encouragement from my former colleagues. And he's gone down country. We should be celebrating, and I know the perfect way. I carry you up those stairs, throw you on the bed, and we both get down to some serious shut eye. <sighs> Forty winks, Trace. You and me catching some Z's, a big long moy. How about it? You know why I can't do that? Because you're afraid you might murder me in your sleep. Don't worry, I can look after myself. I'll just karate kick that knife right out it's of your head. It's not funny, okay? It's not. I know, but I also know you're better off staying here with me where I can keep an eye on you. Stop you from juggling steak knives or jumping out the window, eh? Okay. Hi. I, I wanted to catch you this morning, but you must have left early. Morgan, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean anything, Look. but I said that... What? That line right there. I'm pregnant, Gerald. What? But you only just got the... Have you weed on this? Gerald! I knew it was almost time to take the test, but I thought it might be a bit early. But then I thought it was a long shot anyway. It might not have worked, but it... It did. I'm pregnant. Uh, well, that's exactly what you wanted. Congratulations. Thank you. 
What are you doing? Sorry, it's, it's just wee wee on it. No, it's it's not. It... I'll stuff it. Come here, you. Oh, you big-hearted, pig-headed, beautiful girl. I'll be your number one support. I promise. Morning. Up early. Does this mean that you managed 40 winks last night? Maybe 20. Yeah, you don't look so hot. Cheers very much. Uh, no sleepwalking or talking, though. Nope. Anyway, I am off to the gym. Are you sure the gym's a good idea? I mean, I could think of a better way that we could work up a sweat. I have already paid for these pump glasses and I'm not going to be wasting my money. Mm, fair enough. See you at work. Catch you. You're looking better than I thought. I'm surfing the web, looking at pictures of faraway places. I can already imagine us wandering through this little village, stopping off for a glass of wine somewhere. Ah, Tuscany. It's gorgeous. Let's book it. I'm ready to go when you are. Well, as soon as we have an idea when your treatment might be finished, I'll get it's on... It's finished. The... As of yesterday. Yeah, but you've only just started. I made a decision, Fraser. And I am happier than I have been in weeks. Yvonne, what's got into you? Don't. Please, please, please don't. I've already had it from the girls all night, all morning. And why do you think that is? Because they want you to live, Yvonne. So do I as it happens. But I'm going to die. With or without this god-awful chemotherapy. And, and don't I have the right to decide how I want to spend the remainder of my life? You're choosing an early exit. You're choosing it. No, I'm trying to... I want to live the rest of my life as fully as I can and I had hoped it would be with you but as it happens I can see that you are as selfish as Tanya and Maya please go 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 hey stranger yeah sorry I haven't been around much Karen's working you too hard yeah, but um, I've got some time off tonight, so maybe we can do something. Yes, please. <laughs> Picnic on the beach somewhere, fish and chips, six-pack. Maybe not the six-pack for me. It's official. I'm pregnant. What? How do you know? Duh, I took a test. It worked, Hunter. Isn't that cool? Trent and Cindy must be happy. I haven't spoken to them yet. I wanted to tell you first. What can I say? Um, well done you. I know you're struggling with the whole surrogacy thing, but it's happening, so can you maybe start getting a bit more positive about it? Yeah, well, I'll try, Morgan, but uh, you are my girlfriend, and being uh, pregnant isn't exactly something that you can hide. What am I supposed to say when people start asking questions? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right. So you haven't even thought about it. Surprise, surprise. How can you do something so major and not even think... Enough! You said you loved me, you couldn't live without me. Which meant I thought you could handle it. Yeah, but I didn't think that it would actually work. Well, it has. So where does that leave us? Come on. Is that it then? I don't know. Well, you've got some thinking to do, haven't you? Yes, bubbly. Mineral water. <laughs> I'm not the girl I was a year ago, Hunter. Right. I don't think I can eat any of this. Well, I'm sure you can manage. No, I mean fish of the day. Orange roughy, serve with chunky fries. Not exactly a model's diet. Not orange roughy, Hunter. Pretty soon there won't be any of them left in the ocean. I mean, you really should talk to your boss about being more environmentally aware. Are you serious? Yes. So just a side of fries for you then? Yeah, well, I have to find out where they came from first. Normally from a potato. Yeah, but what kind of a potato? A local one, an organic one, or one that's clocked up miles and miles of pollution just to get here? Like I said, I'm not the girl I was. 
You've gone green. Totally. I'm an active member of the Eco Soldiers. Hmm. Impressed? Yeah. I think I am. <laughs> Ooh, tough shift. Hasn't it started yet? Well, I thought you must have worked last night. You look so tired. I really need to ditch those before work gym classes. Yeah, you really should, especially if you're not sleeping properly. I'm not sleeping too well either. Thank goodness Scotty's back tonight. Honestly, every noise I... Oh, no, you're having trouble because of the thing at my house. I'm so sorry. Why are you apologising? Because of the house. It made Tracy... Um, the house didn't make me do it. There was a murder-suicide at my house seven years ago. Turns out that's why we got it at such a good price, because no one else will live in it. So? You got a bloody good deal cashing in on everyone else's superstitions. Did we? Ever since we moved in, it's... Oh, come on. You're more intelligent than that, Shanti. You moved into an old dunger. There's bound to be some problems. The place has a feel to it, a bad one. And did it have a bad feel before you knew the history? I don't... Exactly. Kip, I'm terrified to be there by myself. Every noise, every creak, every... Anyway, I'm sorry, Tracy. Poor thing. Obviously not coping without a man. No, and um, someone else around here isn't coping either. Nice. Fossicking through the rubbish now, are we? Come on, Trace. You can't keep avoiding sleep. You're going to end up with some kind of psychosis Kip, or something. I am fine, okay? F I N E. Fine. Do you know what methamphetamines do to your body? I have a vague idea. I mean, I wasn't going to keep getting jobs with speed skin. I was getting these hideous spots. My, my life was so chaotic. I just kept saying yes to stuff without thinking anything through. Yeah, I know someone else a bit like that. There's always a bigger picture, you know. Yes, I know. There's always other people to consider, and that's something I hadn't considered. <laughs> well, here's to a new Anya. I've got you to thank for her, you know. How do you figure that? Well, after you walked off that shirt, I thought you were a bit of a dropkick. But um, now with all the new, what's it called, the, the clarity that I have, I realise that you're a, you're a smart guy. You're someone whose opinions really matter. Thanks. Yes, but I am well within my rights to refute... Two of my daughters are nurses, and I happen to work at the hospital. So, yes, I do know about these things. Thank you, and goodbye. The oncologist. I figured. How could you do it, Mum? She just cancelled her session. She just phoned up the you doctor. You already knew I was going to. I don't know why you're acting so surprised. It is an insane knee-jerk decision. OK, enough. You've said your piece. I've said mine. And we are still at the stalemate, but we need to move on. What? We are on limited time, and I don't want to waste any more of it arguing. You're right. What? Not about the chemo. I still think that decision sucks. She's not going to change her mind, is she? No, I'm not. I desperately need and want the support and love of my girls. I want us to be happy so that you and JJ have some really good memories. We'd rather have the real thing, not memories. And we could Maya, we have to respect Mum's decision. you're not respecting anything. You're encouraging her to give up hope. Probably not a good idea to ask her to help me plan my itinerary. If you're after more hypnotherapy, then I'll was obviously not a success. Oh, I slept like a baby. If a baby calls people at 1am or plays with knives... Tracy stabbed an intruder. I had no idea. I still don't remember. I, I woke up in the middle of this nightmare and I... Fascinating. No, Luke, it is not fascinating. I am going insane. I am too scared to sleep in case I murder someone or I run out in front of a train okay. or... OK, uh, obviously your case is more serious than I thought. I think you should see a professional. No, there's no way I'm going to see a psychologist or anything. A sleep lab. I've heard of those places. You would spend the night being observed while you sleep in a controlled environment. Based on that, the right kind of therapy or treatment can be prescribed. Why don't I just go back to taking the pills? I mean, Leo's out of the picture now, so I have no problem with zonking myself but out. Popping pills isn't a long-term solution. Agreed. The sleep lab really is... Hey. Thanks, guys, for all of your help and advice. I appreciate it.
appreciate it. You had lunch with her? So? Well, you mean she ate half a lettuce leaf, then chucked it up in the bathroom. Hey, I'm really glad that you're not the babbling starstruck little idiot you were when you first met her. When I first met her, she was a supermodel. Now she's some super drug-addled loser. Canning out on the catwalk? Shame. Well, sometimes you have to hit rock bottom to start working your way up again. Okay, she's off all the gear and she's only modding for eco-friendly companies. Well, she has to do something to claw back any scrap of dignity. How judgmental are you? <laughs> I'm not judgmental, I'm realistic. That whole world is fake, Anya's fake. I mean, do you really think she cares about saving the planet or cruelty to animals or any of that stuff? Look, it's, it's all about the image. Green is the new black, everyone knows that. Well, if that's the case, sister, I'm cool as. Huh? I let it from my mail, the kid I sponsor. You mean the kid Morgan sponsors? Who pays? Yeah, only because you wanted to get her in the sack. See, everyone has an ulterior motive. It's all about looking good or trying to impress people, whatever. Not everyone. Okay, Morgan was running herself broke giving money to Armel, to goats, to guide dog puppies and... Uh, hey Morgan, it's me. Um, I'm just calling because, well, I got a letter from Armel and I thought if you wanted to have a read of it and have a look at his picture, then I could bring it into the bar tonight. Um, about our um, conversation that we had before, I'm still, um, well, I think more talking would be good. Bye. Hi. Hello again. I hope you don't mind. No, no, come on. I mean, I was catching up with some friends where they're going on and on about clothes and shoes and designers. Oh, hi, I'm Anya. We've already met. My sister Sophie. Oh, right. Sorry, babes. I wasn't exactly with it back then, and I've always been terrible at the faces. <laughs> um, can I get you a coffee or something? Oh, only if it's locally grown. Well, New Zealand isn't too big on growing coffee beans. Oh, my gosh. Who's this? I'm Al, the kid I sponsor. Wow, Hunter, that is really cool. Hey, you left this out on purpose, didn't you? Knowing that I'd say it? <laughs> that is so sweet. Scotty's plane's been delayed. Bad weather. Looks like we won't see him until tomorrow. Oh, no. So much for my welcome home dinner. Oh, well, it will keep for tomorrow. Or you could stay and have it with me. You know me, Shanti. I don't like driving late at night. All these hooligans on the road. So stay the night. Can't do that. It'll be fun. I'm sorry, Shanti. But you will be wanting his tea. Look, please don't go, Auntie. I don't want to stay here by myself again. Not another night. I'm so tired and I get so nervous and I... Oh, Shanti. Please? Oh, well... I suppose if there's two of us here... It would make me feel so much better. But you won't be happy. You can talk him around. I know you can. Or I could just tell him I'm staying. That's that. Thank you so much. He said he wanted to talk some more, so that's good. He just needed some... Um, well, uh, look, that she's a she, uh, she's a friend of Hunter's. Colleague. They, they work together. They, she, well, no, she's a supermodel, so... Hey. Uh, Anya, do you remember my friend Jill? No, but... Hi. And this is my... This is Morgan. His ex-girlfriend. Thanks for making that clear, Hunter. Hey. What are you doing? Leaving. I've got my answer. You've made your decision. No, I haven't. And it's unfair of you to expect me to, just like that. It was a simple enough question, Hunter. Do you love me? You're asking me to love you while you're carrying somebody else's baby. What is simple about that? It's hard, it is confusing, and it is doing my head in. Which gives you the perfect excuse to mess around with whatever supermodel you like. <sighs> Hello. Hello. I'm oh, sorry about my reaction this morning. Come in. I was taken by surprise. But now you've had time to think, you can see where I'm coming from. I could always see where you're coming from. Good. Now, let's talk passports. Is yours current? Yes. Excellent. We can get moving then. You're reminding me of Deborah. She was always an enthusiastic traveller. <laughs> always desperate for the next adventure. The more far-flung, the better. Yeah, she'd read everything about our destination before we left. She combined her love of travelling with her humanitarian work. I didn't realise she was into that. Well, you wouldn't. 
Before the symptoms are raised, my former wife completely, she fought tooth and nail to save herself. So did I. We would have done anything. In fact, you know, educated, intelligent people that we both were, we fell victim to... No matter what the odds, you have a chance. You must take it, Yvonne. For yourself. For me. What is it? What happened? Where's the phone? Call me, Jay. What happened? I saw him here, and he tried to strangle me with his hands. Who? He tried squeezing. Who was here? Oh, he's not answering the phone. He'll be asleep. Oh, I saw him in the bathroom. Saw who? My Vijay. He was hanging. Pardon? He tried to strangle me with his hands on my throat, and then he was hanging. This was a dream. You dreamed this? It was so real, Shanti. I never had a nightmare so... This is not funny. Oh, he's not answering the phone. Why would you say such a thing when you know... Know what? Well, you do know, don't you? What happened here? You, you, you must. What are you talking about now, girl? That girl only got to you, huh? Yeah. Is there a breakup? No breakup. At least I don't think... Really? Because it kind of looked that way to me. Well, it's complicated. I love her. Oh. <laughs> but I can't because she's pregnant. Oh. Whoops. Not to me. She cheated on you and got knocked out. No way. No, no. She'd never cheat on me. She's not like that. She's the, the sweetest girl, the nicest. <sighs> Which is just a thing. She's too nice. And I don't know if I can, like I said, complicate it. Sweetie, life uh, shouldn't be complicated at our age. There's plenty of time for that later. Besides, you're too young and sexy to be so stressed. You deserve a little bit of fun, don't you? Tonight at 8.30 we find out more about Ireland's answer to the Mediterranean staple of olive oil that's an ear to the ground. Up next today, stay with us for Doctors.